Nintendo announced their first Nintendo Direct of this year, 2023, February 8th, tomorrow, around 2 p.m. Pacific time. This Nintendo Direct is going to be talking about the games in the first half of the year. You know how it goes. What I love about these kind of directs is just how mysterious they can be. I love the directs where we don't really know what's coming. We know a couple games. Now, a lot of people tend to say, oh, I want this game and that game and this game. Realistically, I think we're gonna get like two, three announcements, if that, and then maybe they'll just talk about DLCs and like the games we already know about. Speaking of games we know about, we know for sure about Bayonetta Origins, we know Pikmin 4, we know The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, that's like the biggest reveal for this year, and we know Advance Wars, which I personally think is going to be talked about in this Direct. Pikmin 4 is up in the air whether it be talked about in this Direct. When they first revealed it, we only got one small teaser trailer. Will we get a full-fledged trailer this time around? I don't know. I hope so. I, I think there's a strong chance we will, um, but I don't know. There's been a lot of rumors saying that Pikmin 4 was going to release in the same month as Tears of the Kingdom? I absolutely hope not. I don't think so. I think Pikmin will have its own, like, time to, to, to shine. Advance Wars, I think, yeah, I think tomorrow we're gonna get an Advance Wars trailer. I think we're gonna get an official release time, maybe sometime soon. I'm pretty sure for Tears of the Kingdom, there's gonna be a trailer. I don't know, there's something cooking because this Nintendo Direct is later than usual. Usually these are, like, early in the morning, but this time it's later in the day. I don't know. I don't know, maybe they want all eyes, everyone out of school and watching this Zelda trailer, so that, that could be it. Man, too often, like, people will talk about the leaks that happen for Nintendo Directs, and that's why I'm, like, really excited that this one is shrouded in mystery. For Finally, people aren't being like, well, I have the sources, I know exactly what's being revealed tomorrow. Metroid Prime Trilogy. Wind Waker, Zelda, Remake, HD, whatever. Every single Direct, they're like, no, no, sources, like the best sources online. Actually, ignore everybody's sources. I'm the one with the real source. My grandpa works at Nintendo, and I know Metroid Prime Trilogy HD is happening tomorrow's Direct, for sure. And then every single time, it does not happen. That doesn't mean I don't think it's not gonna happen. Maybe Metroid Prime Trilogy will be a thing, but there's two ways about it. One, a lot of people are speculating, will these games like the Wind Waker or Prime come back in the form of HD games, remasters, or will they come back into the GameCube Switch Online? Now, I don't, I don't think so, because I feel like Switch Online is still just working its magic through the N64 online, and so, I don't know, I think, I'm gonna guess not GameCube. Uh, Nintendo will never want to acknowledge GameCube ever, ever. I highly doubt that it's gonna happen. And, and also, the, the HD, you know, remaster, I think that's possible, you know? Uh, Retro Studios has been working on stuff before they got put on Metroid Prime 4, so uh, maybe it's possible to be working on Metroid this whole time, but we won't know. Maybe it's a d new Donkey Kong game, we won't know, but yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna debunk that Metroid Prime Trilogy is not a thing. I think my trust in that game has been broken by every person saying that their their sources are correct. What's super interesting about this direct is that this is well, we don't know when the Switch is going to end. We don't know when Nintendo's gonna reveal their next console. But more or less, we're approaching the sixth year of the Nintendo Switch. So we're getting, we are getting towards the end of the Switch era which feels so soon to me, but we are getting close to the Switch era closing off at some point, whether it's in a year or two or more from now. So these games are like at the end of the finishing line, right? Like I think Tears of the Kingdom is pretty, a pretty big game to almost like close off the Switch era a little bit. But it's weird to me because as, as much as we've been having so many games, like I, I think this is one of the best Nintendo libraries ever, and we're missing a lot of IPs. I know everyone wants to talk about like, F-Zero and Golden Sun, like I, I totally hear that, right? Like Kid Icarus as well, like those games have just not been getting love. Um, Mother, right? Like they, they, they've been added to like the Switch Online stuff, but we haven't seen them make an official return in a full-fledged game. We don't know what Sakurai's been working on since Ultimate. Maybe, he, maybe he's been working on Kid Icarus Uprising HD. That would be awesome. I don't know if it's gonna happen though. And then uh, other, other titles that we're missing out on is Rhythm Heaven Fever and Punch-Out. Now Rhythm Heaven Fever had a strong presence in WarioWare, get it together. 
and that was like what uh, that was two years ago about <laughs> so I think I think we've had a pretty decent amount of time maybe we'll see Rhythm Heaven Fever but if there's one Nintendo series that I actually think is really weird it hasn't made a presence is Star Fox I was gonna make a whole dedicated video to Star Fox and I still will but just for this segment of this Nintendo Direct I want to talk about Star Fox Star Fox was only brought in for uh, a collab with an indie game known as Starlink Battle of Atlas, or Battle for Atlas, was one of those. But we haven't got a full-fledged Star Fox game. Uh, it's disappointing because, I mean, we see Nintendo put so much effort into Star Fox, like with, with Star Fox Zero on the Wii U, but it just, it just seems to flop every time. It seems like Star Fox is usually like a tech demo for every console generation, except in this case, we're at the end of the Switch's life. I guess it's also safe to say that Star Fox Zero was also at the end of the Wii U's life, but I don't know. I wonder if maybe this time they get it, maybe they won't add in those like gyro controls or anything like that. But will we see a new Star Fox? I don't want to see a Star Fox Zero uh, port. If there is, okay cool, but I want to see a full-fledged Star Fox game. If we can see some crazy like HD, n new style of playing Star Fox games, I would be really excited for that. Get something like, if we can have like Star Fox Assault, but like... Just really build up the idea where you can fly around and then jump off your ship and start shooting blasters. I think that would have been a really cool way to get people to play Star Fox. I don't want Nintendo giving up on Star Fox. I, and I don't think they are, but I do know it's also that like that hurt spot, right? Because it's like when Nintendo was at its lowest, like with the Wii U, then they, they did Star Fox Zero and they put so much love and care for it and it just got like hated on and the sales were abysmal. I got that game for like $10. <laughs> uh, and, and it sucks to see it, right? And I, I, I don't really think there's a solid Star Fox game besides, like, Star Fox 64. <laughs> I did enjoy Command, but I can see why people wouldn't like it. I don't have a whole list of predictions. I just want to talk about what we know, what's coming, what direction we can go in. I'm feeling the Star Fox. Oh, I didn't even mention Chibi Robo. <laughs> Comment down below, what do you guys think is coming tomorrow? Are you expecting a Metroid Prime Trilogy? Uh, are you expecting Rhythm Heaven Fever, Chibi Robo? Tell me what are your thoughts. Is, is Advance War finally getting a release date? For now, what we have so far, I'm pretty happy. Whatever they announce, it'll be cool. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.